Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about my laundry routine. If in the morning my pile of laundry is done, I feel very much sorted throughout the day. However, if I am behind, I cannot concentrate on any other household chores. If there are dirty clothes all around the house really looks very messy and that's when laundry can be very very overwhelming so whenever I see my laundry basket is full I just load the laundry and get the clothes clean and this happens very much alternate days because Keeping all the clothes waiting for the weekend, it can be very much overwhelming. So I generally do it every alternate days or depending upon the, uh, like if I have to do the bed sheets or there is a pile of dirty uh, kitchen towels. So I run it accordingly. But honestly, I don't have any fixed days when I have to do laundry. So I keep it flexible and do it as and when required to make the work much more easy and simple. So let's get started. I'll show you what all planning I do to follow my laundry routine and make the work much more easy and budget friendly. So let's get started. We have separate washer and dryer in our laundry room. Sometime I do laundry once dinner is done and kids get ready for bedtime or sometime I do it in the morning once they are off to school. I really try to keep it flexible and do it whenever I get some extra time. Every morning I collect dirty clothes all around the house and put it in the laundry bag. Even I make sure my daughter puts all her dirty clothes in the laundry bag when she is back from school. I don't sort clothes as per color, I do it as per the texture or the heaviness of the clothes. Like all kids clothes are home clothes, night suit, t-shirt, everything goes in one load. Next load is for woolen stuffs and I wash my husband's formal pants and shirts, everything separately and there is different day for bed sheet, comforter, pillowcase and blankets. Now clothes are all sorted and ready to go into the washer. For woolen clothes and bed sheet, I wait for few days till the time I have enough dirty clothes. And these are all kitchen towels that I wash separately. These are the products that I use for washing. Tide Advanced Power, then Vinegar, and baking soda. Vinegar and baking soda both are great to whiten, brighten and reduce odor and soften clothes without harsh chemical. It also kill off any bacteria that may be present in your wash loads. Especially for towels, workout clothes which are smelly and sweaty, these works great. Choosing correct washer setting is also very important that differs from machine to machine. Generally, I wash it in normal setting but uh, if we have some comforter or blanket that goes into comforter uh, setting, then new clothes I wash in cold wash and if there is some delicate stuffs, then they goes in delicate setting. Once washing is done and you are not using the washer anymore, you can leave the door open slightly which is just enough to dry any remaining moisture that exists in the washing machine. After every load, don't forget to clean the lint filter of the dryer.
While putting clothes in the dryer, throw in some aluminium foil balls in the dryer with wet clothes. It removes the static and these balls are reusable so we don't need any kind of dryer sheet. Before washing any bathroom rug and cleaning towels, I soak them in a bucket or a bathtub with some Dettol and vinegar. After soaking for around half an hour, simply wash it with regular detergent. This kills all the bacteria and makes it more clean. Now comes the most boring part, the folding of the clothes. This is the time when me and my daughter works as a team. All of us sort the clothes for each members of the family. Uh, she generally sorted for herself and her uh, brother and I also help it in the entire process. And once the clothes are sorted, I fold it and keep it to its designated places. It's also very important to clean the machine at least twice a month. I select hot water setting and add 3 4th cup of white vinegar and baking soda to the dispenser and allow the cycle to run completely. You can also check if there is any cleaning instructions that has come with your washing machine and you can follow the same. This was all about my laundry routine. Hope this helps you to plan the routine that works the best for you. Please share any tips that might be helpful for all of us as this is the community where we learn from each other. If you think this could be useful for your friends and family, please share with them. Like, comment, share and if you are watching me for the first time, please subscribe. I'll see you soon with my next video. Till then, take care, stay happy and keep making lots of memories. Bye-bye.